much inventiveness is required to make a movie these days. Fugly is a brainless attempt at following the Fukre success story. Notice the pre-release publicity pattern that almost completely attempted to follow in that supposedly hit film's footsteps. And why not, with a story that does not steer too far away from the Fukre goal post, but for some add-on game playing with dirty politics and corrupt cops to tank up on complexity. Fugly in fact tries to own several facets of well-loved hit films. It incorporates the Dil Chata hit trick of getting three guys and a girl together in a display of bromance. The Delhi Belly attitude of irreverent, loutish, don't care type lay about getting haplessly embroiled in intrigue not exactly of their own making. And the Rangde Basanti fortitude of developing patriotic fervor to fight against injustice. All squashed up together in an offering that appears as clueless and tedium inducing as it is misleading. The bizarre series of events designed to engulf the four friends in a fight for justice against all odds is for one devoid of any clear-cut mitigating factor. Dev, Devi, Gaurav and Aditya are the four friends here. One does not really get to understand why they are friends in the first place other than a stray dialogue that establishes them as Langote Ayars. Deva has a patriotic streak and is close to Devi who with her armed forces widow mother survives on sales of homemade farsan and forever delayed pension. Gaurav, an aspiring world champion boxer, comes from a political Haryanvi family with his father aiming for the position of chief minister. And Aditya, pet named Shithead because of his family's well-established and successful business in ceramic toilet products, is also lovingly referred to as Hagu, relating to the fact that he's always the one scared shit of the consequences. Now for the stupidest plot ever, Devi gets bought by a shop owner called Nunu and subsequently the four decide to teach Nunu a lesson. But as it transpires, Inspector Chautala prevents them from carrying out their plan and works his own instead successfully embroiling them in a potential murder rap for which they are expected to cough up close to 60 lakh rupees to be set free. The biggest problem here is that you can't just drum up any empathy for this quartet of misfits who one would think deserve every fallout experienced. The plotting is derivative and haplessly contrived. The series of music video intercepts only making the cinematic experience even more untenable. The dialogues are quite simply as nonsensical as the title of the film. The performances from this new set of actors are competent enough, but the poorly drawn characters and the contrived circumstances make it uninvolving. The super talented Jimmy Shagel makes a valiant attempt to mark up the interest, but it appears too facile in a sea of ineptitude to make any difference whatsoever. If only the youthful zest represented in the musical interludes carried into the tale, there just might have been a little bit of excitement to be had. Kabir Sadanan appears to have borrowed the template to be followed without really understanding the intricacies behind its successful mechanics. As it is, this one stretches disbelief too far and makes this brand of intellectually depraved entertainment appear terribly unappealing.